Okay, when you start to make these forms and access, sometimes you want to um, go ahead and call one form from another form and start to create a, a mini application for your users. So, for example, I have these two forms. I have the orders form. I'm going to double click on that. And then I have this form called customers. I'm going to double click on that. So, let's say I'm on an order. Well, I would like to perhaps pull up that customer's information and go right to that specific customer. So uh, we can do that with another command button. All right, so let me go into the orders form and I'm going to maximize that. I'm going to go into design view. All right, uh, so this, this form already has a button. There's another video uh, in this series where I, I show you how to do that. But anyway, here we're going to add another button right up here and I'm going to click on the form and that's going to open up the command button wizard. Command button wizard is so great because uh, a lot of these functions are already pre-programmed in there for you. It makes it a lot easier for you. I'm going to pick on form operations and then you're going to come over here and you pick on open form. So you have form operations on the left and open form on the right. I'm going to pick on next there. The form I want to, want to open is the customer's form. I'll pick on customers and pick on next. Okay, this is a really important screen. It says, do you want the button to find specific information to display in the form? For example, the button can open a form and display the data for a specific employer or a customer. That's kind of what we want to do if you think about it. I want to uh, open up that customer uh, who, who made the order. So I want to say open the form and find specific data to display. Otherwise, if we picked on the bottom one, when we open up that customer form, it would show all of the records. But I don't want to show all of the records. I just want to show that specific customer. So we'll click on this top one. We'll pick on next. Now here's an equally important screen. It says, which fields contain matching data the button can use to look up the information? Okay, so in other words, which record do you want to go to? In this case, I want to go to the record whose customer ID is the same customer ID that's on the order. These are all of the fields for the orders form. These are all the fields for the customer form. So you want to pick the common field. If there's not a common field, then you should cancel this process and make sure that there is a common field between the two forms. It goes back to those relational uh, concepts, relational database concepts. Uh, so I'm going to pick on the, you pick on one field over here, you pick on another field over here, and then you hit the double arrow and the double arrow is going to call the matching fields. So the real key to this is that the two forms have a common field. We're going to pick on next. Now it says, do I want text or a picture to go on the button? So I'm going to pick on text and I'm going to say, uh, go to current customer. I like the text because you can get really specific there. Uh, I'll pick on next. And now this is asking for a name of the button. I'm going to call this one the customer button. You want to give them a good specific name uh, for purposes later on. So I'll call this one the customer button and I'll pick on finish. Notice how there's a, a new button on this screen now. I already have the uh, run orders report and then the customer button. Now what I might do is make the buttons uh, the same size. So I'm going to pick on this button. I'm going to hold down my shift key and pick on this button. Now they're both selected. Uh, I'm going to pick on Arrange, and then first of all, for the Arrange, uh, I want to uh, use some of these icons to make them, uh, first of all, I'm going to make them align so that they're on the same horizontal plane. Then you see these icons over here, these make them the same size. So I'm going to make them uh, you have to see uh, which ones are going to work for you. Alright, so I'm going to say uh, make the horizontal spacing equal. Alright, and then uh, we're going to use, uh, this will be fine now. So at this point I'm going to run my form. I'm going to pick on the design menu. I'm going to say view and then form view. Alright, so let me go to a different order. Let's say uh, I'm just going to per peruse through these screens and I go through this customer. Now it's Ernst Handel is the customer's name. I want to pick on this button that says go to current customer. 
and notice how to open up the customer's window and it went right to that person's information. Now I can see, now I can change their information if I needed to, but I was able to look up their information. Now this even shows their order history. Uh, so when I'm done with this screen, I want to close this. So maybe I would put another button here such that when I hit that, it'll go back to the other screen. So let's go back to design view. Uh, I'm going to put another button on this screen and click it over here. Now I'm going to pick on form operations, but this time I just want to close the form. Form operations, close form. I'll pick on next. Uh, the text is just going to be closed form, or you might say closed window. Uh, we'll pick on next. And now this button should have a name. I'm going to call this one the close uh, button. So I'll pick on finish. Now you see how I have a button that says close window. Uh, I'll pick on view and then form view. I'm going to click on that new button that I just made. And uh, now it's asking me if I want to save. Uh, yes, I do want to save the forms. The user would never see this, by the way. It's just because we haven't saved yet. So I'll pick on yes. Now we're right back to the order. So I'm going to pick on go to current customer. I could make my changes here. When I'm done with that screen, I'll pick on close window. And now we're able to complete the loop. So you put these buttons on to, um, to add, add user functionality to your screen. You can have as many buttons on one form as you wanted to. But it just makes it more user friendly for the system. Uh, just remember, you go back to design view for a screen. You pick on the design tab and you're looking for this button right over here. That's how you can uh, you know, kind of make a great application using these buttons.